everyone so I am doing something a little bit different today um, <laughs> I think it is time for me to go through my eyeshadow palette collection and do a declutter this is just the first round I'm gonna have to clear off this table and put the rest out uh, in the second half of this video um, so yeah I'm an eyeshadow palette junkie I admit it it's my very first love I love <laughs> I love eyeshadow palettes now I've never done one of these before um, so I'm sorry if it's like a little shaky or it's too dark because I'm not bringing out my major lighting for this so as you can see here we have some lovely ABH palettes Dominique Cosmetics ColourPop Norvina all the good stuff um, so yeah let's go ahead and get started all right so I know right off the bat that I'm going to keep all of my Anastasia palettes. So I have the Prism, the Norvina, Subculture, Soft Glam, and Modern Renaissance. I'm never ever going to get rid of these. Um, I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. These stay in my main drawer. These are excellent. Okay, so the Dominique Cosmetic palettes, all of them, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> I love them as much as well. I don't really see me getting rid of too much from this section just because of the fact that these are from my main drawers, but I kind of wanted to go through there and just see what was in there. Maybe I can rearrange something, something I use a little bit less I can bring up to the front of the pile. Forgot one, so Anastasia Riviera palette. I don't really touch it as much. Um, but I still really do enjoy it, so keeping that. Right, so the four Too Faced palettes that I have, um, these are my tried and trues. I love them. They definitely are a staple in my collection. The Chocolate Gold, Chocolate Bar, Sweet Peach, and the um, Semi Sweet. So these are going nowhere either. Uh, let's see. My two Urban Decay Naked palettes. Um, I love these as well. I actually just used the cherry in my look that I have on right now, even though you can't see it. And of course, the Naked Heat is great for a fall palette. Oh, Tarte. Tartlet in Bloom. This was my very first eyeshadow palette. Um, <laughs> as you can see, it is really well loved. I have dug into Rockstar quite a bit. Um, so definitely keeping this tartly toasted. I wouldn't say I actually use it a whole bunch, but I do love the formula. And so maybe I'll just bring this in my front rotation and start using that. This one is another one that I love dearly. I use it a lot on my daughter during her competition makeup um, and her, her uh, dance makeup in general. This is the Viseart palette. This is the neutral matte palette. I highly recommend this one. Okay, so the Zodiac palette from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. It is really, really pretty, but I don't reach for it as often as I should. So I'm going to come back to that one. I'm going to set that one aside so I'm a little unsure. My Little Pony palette, same thing. Um, I really like the formula, but I do feel like I have these colors in another palette. Um, I think I even have that orange one in here. Yeah, it's kind of similar. Um, those two oranges right there. So I don't know. We're going to come back to these two palettes because I might be decluttering those. Um, the Dream Street palette. I really, really enjoy this palette. As you can see, it is really well loved. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. The Alamar palettes. This one is actually very, very special to me because I had a subscriber actually give this to me out of the kindness of her heart and I will never get rid of this. I love the formula. I love the colors. Um, these are hold a very, very special place in my heart, so I will not be getting rid of those. All right, now this was limited edition. I actually owned two of these. This is my second one. Uh, this is the Graveyard Girls and uh, Tarte palette from Swamp. So even though it's not used, like I said, this is my second one. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this because I love this palette so much that I've already gone through the very first one. Uh, the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival Palette. It's really, really pretty. Very colorful. Um, and also, do I have colors like that in here? Mm, maybe, no. Nothing like that. Well, no. <laughs> okay. No, they're definitely different. 
Okay. So I am going to go ahead and just keep this one. This one was a lot of fun to play in. Now, the two palettes, right, my ColourPop, the Disney Designers, and the Misunderstood palette. I definitely enjoyed the Misunderstood palette way more. I thought it was a beautiful palette. The shades perform so much better. But it is a collector's item, and I don't really want to get rid of it because I even have two more Disney palettes on the way, um, and I kind of just want to keep those. So that's a key. So the Huda Beauty palettes, I've actually already gotten rid of one. Uh, so the ones I have left are the Neon Palette, the Mauve Palette, and the Smoky Obsessions. I actually have used this one quite a bit. Um, the Mauve Palette, I actually don't even dig into it maybe once or twice. So maybe I need to bring that rock back into rotation. The Neon Palette, I've only touched one time. But I really don't have any bright, bright colors like that. So I think I'm going to keep that. So these little drugstore palettes. Uh, I have my Maybelline. This one, which one was this? The Chai Latte Palette. This is my very, very first eyeshadow. Not this one in particular, but when I started loving eyeshadows and uh, my very first video that I watched was actually Jaclyn Hill and it had this uh, in a single shadow and I love that look so much. It was my very first look that I could actually create on my own. Um, <laughs> so I have definitely repurchased and reused the look. It's very simple, very I actually have a tutorial for it on my channel. I have that linked up in the corner for you guys if you want to check that out. So I'm keeping that. Um, these two right here are part of like the um, little dragon collection. Um, but I don't reach for them. I feel like I have colors in my other palette that are very, very similar to these. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pass both of these on. All right. So we have my KKW and Mario palette. I love this palette with a passion. Um, I use it constantly. <laughs> it's like, I know I say that about a lot, but this is, stays in my main drawer. If, I ha if I'm in a hurry, this is definitely a go-to palette for me. So I will be keeping this. This even went a little bit dirty. <sighs> the Dose of Colors palette. The De Desi and uh, Katie quad. There was so much hype over this. Um, I think I had bought the lipsticks to go with it, but I just really wasn't impressed. The lipsticks did not work for me. So, I don't know. It's pretty. Like, that one's okay. It's got a little bit of sparkle in it. That one. Mm, I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this on. Um, those are a little bit lackluster for me now, especially with my collection, how much has expanded since then. So I think I'm going to pass this one along. Now I received this in one of my, uh, glam bags and it is very pretty. I haven't really, I haven't had a chance to use it. Um, but I really do like the colors in here and I've always been really interested in the bomb. I love the packaging. So I think I'm going to hold on to this so I can test it out. All right. And then we have my other two big Huda palettes. Uh, we have the Desert Dusk, which I love so much. I've dug into it quite a few times. Um, we have the New Nudes palette, which is just a gorgeous palette. So I will be keeping those. We have the Emily Edit palette, which is a really, really pretty palette. Um, I love Emily Noel. I think she is a fantastic YouTuber. Definitely should check her out. Uh, this is definitely, oh, I love that highlight and I love that, that blush. I'm going to keep this palette just because it's a quick go-to palette. This is a good travel palette because it's all in one. The Elf Earth and Ocean palette. I actually really enjoyed this palette. And I was really impressed with all the colors. I think they performed very, very well. I think some of the colors in here are definitely unique. Uh, this salt water color, this siren color. Let's see. Oh yeah, there. I can't forget how creamy it was because I haven't used it in a while. So pretty. The lagoon, kind of like a topper. That lagoon is. And that silver. So yeah. Very, very pretty. I don't know if you can see it really good on camera. I know I did a look with this. I'll also have that linked up in the cards. So that's not the best watch with my thumb. Um, but I don't know. 
I'll have to come back to this one too. Okay, now the Dose of Colors uh, palette. I love this palette. Now this is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this was the, what the Desi and Kitty round two. So I'm definitely giving the round the round one away and I am definitely keeping the round two, the Francation palette. Yeah, Desi and Katie Francation palette. Um, love this one, keeping that. The ABH palette, I just got it. Um, I've been playing with it. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was, but it's so pretty. I love it so much. Definitely keeping that. We have the 39A Dare to Create palette. This was supposed to be a limited edition. I don't know if it's available anymore. It's definitely more cold tone on the darker side. Um, I definitely don't reach for it as much as I should, but I don't know if I'm ready to let it go. I know that's kind of sad to say. Uh, it's really hard for me to let stuff go because I am a collector of eyeshadow palettes. Um, I might hold on to that. Now the James Charles palette, I am gonna hold on to this because I really just did a look with it and I use it for all of my colorful looks and I really, really enjoy that. My Conspiracy palette, just got it. I love it, not getting rid of it. <laughs> so uh, definitely keeping that. I'm keeping the Blue Blood palette and of course my um, Blood Sugar palette. I keep it in its case just because of the fact that I like the case. I don't want to get rid of it. Um, but I don't think I've even played with this one yet. Uh, yes, I have. <laughs> I see a little bit of digging in there. So uh, definitely keeping all of these. His, his quality is amazing. Uh, I have two Marc Jacob palettes I love. Um, I kind of keep them in here just because of the shape is a little bit awkward in the drawers that I do have so this helps me kind of keep them uh, from like tipping over and breaking and things so I'm definitely keeping both of these this is one the Fantasy and the Scandalous I love these palettes so much I wish I could have all of them to tell you the truth they are just so gorgeous um, oh yes gorgeous love it love it love it uh, but they are definitely difficult to store since I don't have a beauty room. <laughs> so that's why I keep them in the box to keep them safe until it's time to use one. Uh, same thing with this Natasha Denona Camel palette. I received this uh, at the beginning of the year in my um, mystery box. I love this palette so much. Uh, Natasha Denona shadows most of them not all of them because if you have watched my review on that uh, the newest palette she did um, the one she came out for I guess Christmas time I actually I, I really don't like that palette um, but this one oh I love it but um, because it is such an expensive palette and my storage is kind of janky I keep it in this box until it's time to use it so that is that. The Tarte palette. Um, this one was actually discontinued. This is the very first edition. I know they brought this one out and they came out with the Clay Play 2. Personally, I think they should have just stuck to this one. Uh, I love this shade right here for contour and bronzer. So I'm not going to get rid of this. The Sunset palettes. Oh my gosh. I remember, you know, hearing a little bit about these palettes. This kind of has like a peel up. Uh, top to it a really unique design uh, they are magnetic and I think they are just gorgeous I remember just watching one in store I was like okay I'll get one and then I just watched the next one and the next one and I fell in love with all of them <laughs> so that's why I ended up with all of them I really really enjoy Lorac I think it is a, um, a brand that isn't talked about enough um, but yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep these palettes because these palettes are really really pretty okay so I have done away with the first round and here is the last of my eyeshadow palettes. Not even my singles, not even my face palettes, but my eyeshadow palettes. Um, <laughs> I don't know where to start. Okay, we're going to start with the Flamingo palette because I actually use this quite a bit. Um, I really, really enjoy the colors in here. I think they are gorgeous, so I'm definitely going to keep this. The Jawbreaker palette, yeah, I'm not getting rid of this. This is fairly new. I've used it a handful of times. Um, love it. 
The next palette I actually use is for my Halloween videos. Um, so I don't ruin any of my good palettes. So, not this, this isn't a good palette. It's just good for Halloween. I wouldn't sit here and actually do a look with it. Um, but it, it gets the job done. So, uh, keeping this. Okay. The Wonder Beauty Wondrous Seascape. This was in one of my subscription boxes. It's really, really pretty. The colors are beautiful, but I don't reach for this. I do have similar colors. Um, I think the only color that I might not have is this seafoam. It's a really, really pretty, pretty, pretty color. Um, but I have so many palettes. I need to make room. I got way more coming in, but I just don't reach for it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. Okay. The Urban Decay Born to Run palette. This palette is absolutely stunning. You can create really a whole bunch of different looks with this palette. It is really well thought out. One of their best palettes, I think. Um, so I'm definitely keeping this one. I love the packaging on here as well. Uh, the Laura Lee Party Animal palette. I know it's, it's all colorfuls. And at first I was just kind of using it for like Halloween, but I do have other colorful palettes that I need that I use. Um, the James Charles palette and a couple of different ones like my Juvia's Place. I don't really need these. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and pass these along. My Natural Loves palette. Oh, I feel like I haven't seen this in forever. Uh, the packaging on this as well is just beautiful. Now I've created some really beautiful looks uh, with this palette. It's not the most pigmented ever, um, but it's still a really, really pretty palette. And I do like to pull this out every once in a while. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Also, this is, I think was one of my biggest splurges when I first started makeup. Um, so kind of has a lick. So yeah, I'm just going to keep that. I love the feeling of this. Oh, such a beautiful palette. My two busy art palettes. Uh, we have the Trice palette. I think that's how you say it, um, which I have used from time to time. And then we have the Golden Hour palette, um, which I have used from time to time as well. Oh, if I can open it up. Oh, oh, these are so hard. Okay, there we go. Um, <clears throat> I would say I actually prefer this one over the Golden Hour. I have pulled this one out for to use the black for some uh, Halloween looks because the black is really, really nice. Um, and it definitely has a red that I really love in here. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep both of these. Vizzy Art Formula is a really, really nice formula. The packaging on here is really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm not ready to get rid of these either. God, this is so hard. I thought this would be a lot easier than what it's going to be. Um, but most of my palettes, man, I really do just love the Laura Pro Mega 3 palette. I love it. As you can see, <laughs> yeah, I put some use to this. Um, but I just don't put a dent in my eyeshadow palettes because I do have so many. Um, there's just, uh, it's just an all around palette. You have two rows of mattes, two rows of shimmers, and it's just absolutely perfect. Uh, so keeping that surprise, surprise. We have the Nomad palette. Um, I just received this. I have not had a chance to play in it. I really want to, uh, create a look with it. I think it'll be a lot of fun. It's definitely more of a cool tone palette. Um, so I'm definitely going to hang on to this for a little bit. Now the Too Faced Best Year Ever 2018. This was one of their um, Christmas releases from last year. And the colors in here are really, really pretty, but <laughs> I have Too Faced palettes that I really, really love. And I just don't reach for this. It's very bulky. Um, I definitely have Chocolate Soleil bronzer and a whole size, so I don't need that. The blush is pretty. The highlighter's pretty. Um, there's a couple in here, colors in here that actually draw my attention. That's Christmas Carol, which is this really pretty blue shade. Oh, it's like a midnight blue. So pretty, but I think I can find that in another palette. And this iced out color, which is just this, oh, really, really pretty silver shade. Oh, dang it. See, now I'm wanting to keep it, but I know I won't use it. So... It definitely, I like that first one better. Um, 
it would definitely do somebody else a lot of good to pass this along. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. This one kind of hurts a little bit because this palette was so pretty. I know it was really pricey, <laughs> um, but I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I won't reach for it. And I'm really trying to <sighs> declutter here. <laughs> so passing along my two Juvia's Place. Oh, no, I have three, three Juvia's Place palettes. I love Juvia's Place. I think that her palettes are so stunning. Oh my gosh. Um, the quality of the shadows is amazing. The price point is amazing. The colors are amazing. Like everything about it is just so amazing. I used my, this orange uh, to help block out my eyebrows. I definitely like these two a lot better than this one. I don't really reach for this one. Um, the colors in here are really, really, really pretty, but I just, I don't know, something about this doesn't catch my eye as much as like the Saharan 2. I really, really think this palette is gorgeous. This one definitely speaks to me. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about this palette that wants me to keep it, but I know I won't use it. Like, it's, it's gorgeous. Oh, that pink is gorgeous. The gold, gorgeous. This, gorgeous. It's <laughs> so gorgeous. Oh, yes. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep these two. And I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile and I'm gonna come back and think about it. Um, oh, that was my doggy. Oh, she's having a dream. Um, because I'm just not sure. So that's going to go in a maybe pile. My Sigma palette, I'm not getting rid of this. This was my very, very first palette that was ever sent to me. When I became an affiliate with Sigma, they sent me this nice little uh, PR package full of brushes. And this was the palette they sent me. This is very, very dear to my heart. I was so ecstatic when this arrived and I nearly cried my eyes out. So definitely keeping this palette. Tarte palette. Uh, this is a mermaid palette. This is so beautiful. I wish they would not have discontinued it because this definitely needs to be a part of their permanent collection. It is just such a perfect palette. Um, the shape of it. I love the design of this. It's just so gorgeous. It is a little bit hard to store, but it is so worth it. So keeping that. My A Dose of Colors Marvelous Mauves palette. This palette is really, really pretty. Um, it's definitely on the powdery side. It's not my favorite formula. I really am, uh, like their Frankation palette a lot better than I do this palette. Um, the, like I said, the colors in here are just really pretty, but I think I would just be holding on to it just to hold on to it. Um, and I'm not going to reach for it. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and pass this along. Okay. My ColourPop Blow Me Away palette. Uh, I caught this when it was on sale. It's perfect for the summertime. Just four cute little shades. Um, this was really, really cheap. The colors are really pretty. Uh, it's very, very summer vibe. So I'm going to hang on to this until next summer, see if I use it or not. Um, and we'll come back to that at a later date. The Emily Edit The Once palette. So I kept the Neans. This is The Once. I think the colors in here are stunning. Um, so I definitely will be keeping all of this. Let me add a couple more. <sighs> so many palettes. Okay, so <laughs> I can tell you right away, I am not getting rid of this sucker. This was kind of pricey, kind of pricey. This was pricey. This is the Pat McGrath palette. Um, I think it is so stunning. Out of the ones that he had from this mini collection, this is the one that caught my eye the most. Um, and yeah, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Of course, the other Natasha Denona palette I have is the Sunset palette. I really enjoy this palette. I think it is beautiful. I love the way it performs on the eyes. So I will be keeping this. I mean, I spent $129 on this sucker. Well, okay, I take that back. I got this during a sale, but still, it's a very, very expensive. I'm never getting rid of that. 
<clears throat> we have the Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales Lorac palette. I was so excited when this palette came out. <laughs> I love Pirates of the Caribbean. I think the videos are what really well done. The newest release had came out when they released this and I loved it. It does have like a little pocket right here. Yeah, the packaging is kind of bulky, but it's really, really unique and I'm not ready to get rid of it. I think it's gorgeous. The shadows perform beautifully. Um, the silver mist color, oh, I just, there's some unique shades in here and I'm keeping this one. Okay, up next we have the Too Faced Collaboration, the I Want Candy palette. I really, really enjoyed this palette. I've gotten some really fun looks out of here. I like the different colors on the bottom. Oh, still, <clears throat> it still smells amazing. Uh, Sugar Plum, one of my favorite shadows out of here. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep this one just a little bit longer. So much controversy over the Kat Von D situation. Now, I'm just gonna make a brief statement here. I in no way, shape and form endorse what Kat Von D is doing with her kid. I think it is completely irresponsible. Um, normally I don't express that kind of opinion on my channel. I try to keep it really lighthearted. Um, but I noticed that even people who still use her products on camera, um, they will get literally torn to pieces, even though they don't agree with her. Um, and I just think that is a shame because I love what I love. If I already own it, I'm not going to just throw it away because I might as well just be throwing away money out of my pocket. I, I purchased it. So therefore I'm going to use it. Um, that in, in no way, shape or form says I stand by her. <laughs> I definitely don't. All three of my kids are vaccined. Um, they are up to date on their vaccines and so am I. So, uh, that is where I stand with that. So with that being said, I do own three of her eyeshadow palettes. I think I'm going to just go ahead and keep all these. I really love this palette, this metal matte palette. The design of this was brilliant. Um, I remember searching so much for this. I, lo I missed out on the first round and then it just so happened to come back in stock for like not even two minutes and I was able to score one and I really, really enjoyed this palette and I'm not getting rid of it. I am going to use it. I might not use it on my channel. I might use it on a throwback Thursday. I don't know, but I spent the money. I love it. I'm going to use it. Uh, this was her anniversary palette before everything went down. I really enjoyed this palette. This palette was absolutely stunning. Um, the colors in here are really, really pretty. And the packaging was just amazing. Uh, so keeping that, the uh, Saint and Sinner palette, <clears throat> I don't really get much use out of this. Um, the colors are just, they're okay. Um, I don't really reach for it, but uh, I'm still not getting rid of it because I paid a, paid a pretty penny for it and the packaging was really, really nice. Um, so I think I'm going to go to hold on to this. I might just force myself to do a throwback Thursday with this one. Um, so I can get use out of it, <clears throat> but like I said, I don't agree with her, but I already spent the money. Um, so I'm going to use the palettes. Now I'm not going to go out and buy a new palette from her. I'm just not just because number one, nothing's really caught my eye anyway. And number two, I'm not going to support her in that time. But like I said, those are already purchased. So this palette oh my gosh it's still in its box not because i haven't used it because look at the back look at the box it's beauty and the beast okay beauty and the beast is my all-time favorite disney movie and it has the beautiful rose on it um it's a little bent up which is making me kind of sad right now but uh i didn't want to get rid of the box even though the box is the same as the front i just couldn't get my get rid of the box now i love the fact that it says tell as old as time it's made to look like a a book it has the mirror over here and it's just gorgeous oh I never even pulled this out I have used the palette I'm telling you I have used the palette you can see my fingerprints um, I don't know why I didn't use the brush but uh yeah I'm keeping this whether I use it ever again or not Beauty and the Beast is my all-time favorite and I don't care what anybody says I'm never getting rid of this I don't care how old it gets Okay, so this palette is the Urban Decay palette. This is, I think, was their from their Christmas collection. The packaging on this was okay. 
Um, you have the mirror on here, and this is like an all shimmer palette. The shimmers are really, really nice. I don't reach for this at all. I really, really don't. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know why I bought it. Maybe it was the hype. I think I fell into the hype before I became a smart shopper. And, uh, yeah. I like Urban Decay. I enjoy the pa other palettes that I do have. I think this is a really kind of bulky packaging. The shimmers are really, really pretty. I just don't reach for it. So there would be no sense for me to keep it. I'm going to do a couple swatches for you guys just to show you how pretty this is. Oh, very, very pretty. Love it. And let's do like their coppery shade. See, it's really pretty. I just have all these shades in other palettes. So <clears throat> I'm passing this one along. I'm pretty sure my friend Carol is going to be very, very happy to receive this. I think this was actually pretty expensive as well. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to pass this one on. Okay, now Morphe palettes. Yay. <laughs> uh, I was a Morphe fan at one point in time. If you can't tell. Uh, so we have the Jaclyn Hill palette, which of course I'm going to keep. Um, I did a look with this that was actually reposted by Velour Lashes. And the look was so gorgeous. I think the palette is probably her biggest accomplishment, to tell you the truth. And I'm keeping this one because I love it. All right. We have the Morphe. This is the 25A. Um... And then, of course, I have the 25B palette. This palette, these palettes were really well done. I hate the fact that I have two different packaging because, of course, they revamped their packaging. Uh, so that kind of sucks. But the one thing I do liked about this one versus this one is that I could see the colors in here and know exactly which palette it was. I wouldn't know what this palette was unless I opened it or turned around and saw the sticker. So I do like this one a lot better than this although this one is definitely a little bit more sturdy but that has nothing to do with the fact that i'm keeping them or not the answer is yes yes i am <laughs> all right which one is this this one is the 35f i can already tell you that i'm keeping this palette this was actually my very first morphe palette um i love this palette i think it's beautiful for fall you have all these beautiful shimmer colors some of them are very very similar uh so that's why i should have stopped buying Morphe palettes, um, but the bottom row is completely matte, so you have mattes, and then you can do all these different looks. I really, really love this one. If you ever purchase a Morphe palette um, that is not a collaboration, I would definitely suggest the 35F palette. Uh, what else we got in here? The 35OM. Now, I had bought this palette to go with your all shimmer shade palettes. I figured um you know that if i ever come across an all shimmer palette i would be ready to go because i had every shade i need in here to create a full look with but i actually don't reach for this um i started using it for my halloween looks so i think that's what i'm going to keep this for is my halloween looks in case i need to use something uh you know some browns i know i use this shade for like uh my bloody looks <laughs> so yeah, this is not going to be for like makeup every day. This is more going to be for my SFX makeup. What is this? The 35 -0. Oh, this is beautiful. I think I actually created my very first smoky eye with this palette. Um, this is just a beautiful palette. Very well put together. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Now I know this one has to be my 3502 palette. I think I've only used this once. It's so similar. It has a little bit more of like a hot red orange shade to it. Oh yeah. I just, I hate that I don't reach for it. I really, really like this orange shade. I'm a little bit more advanced now than when I first got it. I, when I first got it, um, I hadn't been into makeup that long. Uh, I've only been doing makeup for a couple years. But I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it for right now. I need to play in it a little bit more and see how I feel about it. So I don't think I'm getting rid of that one either. All right. So 
So I'm going to set those aside really quickly. Those are the ones that I'm keeping. Now let's go back to our maybe palettes. Um, okay, these were my maybe palettes. <sighs> I just don't know. Okay. The, Elf and o the Earth and Ocean palette by Elf. I think the colors in here are beautiful. They perform so well, but I just have so many eyeshadow palettes that I love more that I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this along. It kind of hurts my heart to do so, but it was only a couple bucks. If I ever want it, I can definitely go buy it again. Um, but I think it will just do better with somebody else. So passing that along. The My Little Pony and ColourPop palette. This is really, really cute. I even got my daughter one, but I really don't reach in here for the colors. And yeah, I think I'm gonna just pass. I love the packaging on this, My Little Pony. Definitely remember that from when I was a little girl, but I can't just keep it for the packaging because that would be a waste of space and a waste of eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one along. The Zodiac palette by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. Um, this palette is pretty. I don't say that colors are really speak to me as much as the My Little Pony one, but there are definitely some unique shades in here. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one um, and work with that one a little bit more. Now, <laughs> this is a Heron palette. I still haven't made my mind up, but every time I look at this palette, I just feel confused. And it has nothing to do with the palette itself. It just it's more of conflict for me um, because I love how the shades perform, but I just don't think it speaks to me, but it's still hard for me to get rid of. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this along. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. I know I created a Halloween look using this palette, but I definitely have other shades that are extremely similar, if not the same and from other palettes. So passing that one. All right. So how many palettes am I getting rid of? Not that many. <laughs> Not that many at all. So I'm getting rid of one, two, three. Oop, not my iPhone. <laughs> Four. Sorry. I couldn't quite hear you. Yeah, I know. Could you please repeat what you said? No, I can't. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're getting rid of eleven palettes. Is that bad? I don't think so. I think all the other palettes that I own, I really do enjoy. I really do love. And um, yeah, this still creates just a little bit more space, especially from that Urban Decay palette that had really thick packaging. All right, so that's it, guys. That's it for this declutter. Um, I haven't done one of these videos before, so I'm sorry if it took too long or if I lost interest for you. Um, but thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye.